call the announcement call for the next <laughs> takes all kinds of teachers. Okay, I think a school a school should be like a biosphere. You don't want all one monoculture of, of turf grass. Mm -hmm. But you don't want all weeds either. Well, I love weeds, by the way. I'm just saying that to the camera. I love weeds. Um, you, you want a mixed habitat. So you want all kinds of teachers. Toward the end of my career, I tried to say as little as I p could possibly say. I would just throw throw something out and so we might want to consider this today and then, and then let them go. And toward the end, my, my role was, I would say nothing. And the kids would be, I'm going at him. And I said, well, you might, maybe this is something you want to write about tonight. <laughs> One of the favorite favorite things they'd say, well, what do you think? What do you think? You know, and I'd say, well, it doesn't matter what I think. You're the one, that, you guys are the ones that are going to take over the world. It matters what you think. And I'd make jokes like, I'm over the hill, man. I'm like, I'm like one foot in the grave here. It's, the, it's what it matters. What you think is what matters. Or they'd say, Tell me, you know, tell, tell me, tell me the answer. I said, no, you tell me the answer. Um, teaching is is just the art of, yeah, the art of inflaming their minds and giving them control. Toward the end of my career, I would, uh, I'd say, we're duty bound to like read this textbook, but we don't have to if you don't want to. So we'll use this as a springboard. But you, you guys decide what it is we're going to read and make an argument about why we read this or why we read that. Here's a section. Let's just use this section as a springboard. Pick some stuff out of the section and make an argument about what, why we should read this, 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 or this. Or this. So they'd, they'd make their choice and then argue why we read it and then we'd vote on it. Okay, this is what we're going to read in this section. I'd have them make up the test and I'd say, I don't, I don't want any like true-false answers or multiple choice answers. I want, I want questions to which there's no answer. And so then I have to read, I said, I'm going to read your, your answer and kind of like make a decision about how good it is on whether you convinced me or not. Or uh, not, not so much convinced me, but made, made your case. And I said, because I can disagree with you or I can agree with you, but man, you made a good case. You're, you're, you're changing my mind here on this. To me, it was the only way to do it, hmm. and that, and then I would come back and I'd I'd say I didn't I even got to this point at the end. I said, "Well, is that an A? Is this you tell me? Is that an A answer, a B answer, or a C answer?" And they were honest. They would say, "Well, this is a C answer. I couldn't get it, get it, my hands around this one, but this is this is an A answer." So like, okay, so what do you do on the test? And I would look toward growth. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year, I would look toward growth. I just, and again, the same process in poetry, I'm just asking what's better. Could, how could you say that better? Hmm. So that's pretty clever, but how could you say that better? And so they would write for more clarity. 